Welcome back to Self, that sleep, exercise, love, and food. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi. Now, today's topic is, is, do almonds have the power to speed up your workout recovery time? You know, almonds are such a powerhouse. They have so many benefits going on. In fact, if you look at just two handfuls of almonds, and the reason we're talking about two handfuls is that's what the study that we're going to be talking about today looked at, 57 grams to be exact. Now, two handful of almonds contain about 12 grams of protein. They have 17 grams of healthy fats like monounsaturated fats. They have 6.6 grams of polyunsaturated fats and 6.6 grams of fiber. So they're a great source of fiber, healthy fats going on. In addition to that, when it comes to things like vitamins, they provide 96% of your daily vitamin E requirements. 36% of your daily magnesium requirements, remember magnesium has a number of roles, including brain health going on, good gut function going on, cardiac function going on. In addition to all this, the same two handfuls of almonds also has about 1.4 grams of the amino acid arginine. Now, we've talked about arginine in the past. It's a precursor to nitric oxide, which can help your blood vessels to dilate, deliver more blood flow going on. And if all of that wasn't enough, almonds also provide about 1.75 grams of brand chain amino acids. That's your leucine, isoleucine, valine that are needed for building muscle going on. In addition to those things, there's been some really well-designed studies that have been done in the past that have shown that almonds are linked to reduced insulin resistance. This is in randomized control studies going on. Reduced LDL, which is your bad cholesterol. Reduced inflammatory markers. That's like C-reactive protein and other markers going on. And even things like depression. So almond intake through mechanisms such as their anti-inflammatory and antioxidant functions are thought to be the role for why they're linked with reducing depression. Now, in the most recent study, this was published in the Frontiers in Nutrition, the researchers, they looked at a four-week randomized study. They had about 38 men and 26 women. Ages were 30 to 65. And in this one, all of the participants were basically weekend warriors. They didn't really exercise regularly going on. And they did randomized assignments. So half of them were assigned to the almond treatment group where they had 57 grams of almonds. Remember, that's about two handfuls daily for four weeks. And the other group was calorie matched. So they were still getting the same amount of calories. They just weren't getting the almonds going on. So after four weeks, what the researchers did was they had all the participants do a 90 minute eccentric exercise. Remember, concentric is the contraction portion. Eccentric is where you're actually extending the muscle. That's actually the part that gives you the most soreness. So if you're really looking to build muscle, you always want to focus on the eccentric portion going on. So 90 minutes of eccentric exercise. And they did that because they wanted to create the muscle damage. They wanted to create that delayed onset of muscle soreness. You know, that muscle soreness that comes 24 up to 72 hours later, we call that DOMS. And they wanted to create inflammation. What was interesting was that after the first day where the participants were allowed to recover after this 90-minute session going on, the participants in the almond group, they actually had less damage, less fatigue, and they retained more of their leg, back, isometric strength. So in other words, they were actually stronger and less tired because most likely was due to the almonds going on. In addition to all of this, the almond group also had a 69% increase in something called 12-13-dihydroxy-9-Z octadecanoic acid. That's a mouthful, but essentially it's 12-13-dihome. Now, 12-13-dihome is a very interesting molecule. There's a lot of research coming out for it, and it's becoming a huge target for future uh, medications for heart failure and essentially cardiac function going on because 12-13-dihome is linked to increased cardiac function. It's also linked to reduced insulin resistance, increased absorption of fatty acids going on. So that's what helps you to essentially go through decreasing the overall body fat with exercise, etc. going on. And it's linked to stimulating the conversion of white fat into brown fat. Now, almonds aren't the only thing that stimulates 12-13-dihome. 
Cold exposure can do that as well. But if you're somebody like me who just can't get to doing, jumping into a tub of ice, I've never been able to do it. I have such a strong reflux, a reflex that occurs that it is in sometimes extremely severe. Um, one time when I was younger, it was actually life-threatening, and that's why I've never done it. But it's great to know that almonds is another way of doing it, and regular exercise will also increase 12-13 dihome. So if you're watching this video, this podcast going on, and you're wondering, well, what the heck is the take-home message? It's very simple. You know, in addition to the fact that almonds are so great for your overall health, for depression, for so many different parts of inflammation going on, and optimal function, in addition to all that, whether you are a seasoned athlete or a weekend warrior, you should definitely consider adding almonds to your diet to improve your exercise performance and better recovery going on. With that, I want to thank you guys so much for checking out this episode. As always, if you got a question, comment, topic you want to hear about, drop it in the comments below, and I'll be sure to address it next time. Thank you so much.